Good morning. Welcome to today's Daily Dose. Thank you for tuning in with us as we continue to march through the spiritual growth path that Jesus gave us through the Beatitudes. Every Beatitude that we look at springs out of the one before. And as we start our fifth Beatitude today, we're starting to get into kind of some of the upper levels of Christian maturity here. And we're talking about some really good and deep Christian character forming within us. The more we grow to be like Christ, the saltier we become in the world and the brighter we shine out in the darkness. Today's beatitude is a world changer. Jesus said, blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. First of all, we have to remember that we ourselves have been the recipients of some unbelievable mercy. Our sin had separated us from God. And motivated only by love and by mercy, Jesus came, took our punishment for our sins. He received it fully on his back so that we could be forgiven and so that we could be reconciled to our heavenly father who we had rebelled against. As Christians, the mercy of God includes forgiveness, restored relationship with God, and eternal life. That's all that mercy has provided for us. In our beatitude today, all Jesus is doing is asking us to take the mercy that we've received from God and share it with others. To illustrate what that beatitude looks like, I want to share with you a parable found in Matthew 18 called the parable of the unmerciful servant. Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but 77 times. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. And he began the settle, as he began the settlement, a man who owed him 10,000 bags of gold was brought to him. We're talking billions of dollars, probably. Since he was not able to pay, the master ordered that he and his wife and his children and all that he had be sold to repay the debt. At this, the servant fell on his knees before him. Be patient with me, he begged, and I will pay back everything. The servant's master took pity on him, canceled the debt, and let him go. But when that servant went out, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred silver coins, and he grabbed him and he began to choke him. Pay back what you owe me, he demanded. His fellow servant fell to his knees and begged him, be patient with me, I'll pay it back. But he refused. Instead, he went off and had the man thrown into prison until he could pay the debt. When the other servants saw what happened, they were outraged and went and told their master everything that happened. Then the master called in the servant. You wicked servant, he said, I canceled all that debt of yours because you begged me to. Shouldn't you have had mercy on the jailer, oh, on your fellow servant, just as I had on you? In anger, his master handed him over to the jailers to be tortured until he could pay back all that he owed. And then Jesus said, this is how my heavenly father will treat each of you unless you forgive your brother or sister from your heart. In this story, we saw a man who had a debt he'd never be able to repay. He was doomed. He was the poor man we talked about in Beatitudes number one. He didn't have any hope, and his whole family was going to be roped into his terrible punishment. But the king had mercy, and he canceled the entire debt, even though it was 10,000 bags of gold, and he says, you're free. Go ahead. I release you. Go have a good life. But then this man who received this incalculable grace, he won't even give a drop of mercy or grace to a fellow servant. And we saw how the king felt about that. And this is Jesus's way of letting us know how God feels about Christians who've received mercy for their 10 million sins over the course of their lives, but who don't have mercy on a fellow sinner. The challenge today is to forgive. The challenge today is to release people who have harmed us, for us just to hand them over to Jesus. And the amazing thing that happens when we forgive others, when we set them free, when we cancel their debt, we actually find freedom ourselves. Is there someone today that the Holy Spirit is calling you to release over to Jesus? Be free, my friend. Let them go. I know it's not easy, and Jesus will help you if you ask him. Have a great day.